Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sport Horizon YouTube channel. I'm Jay, one of the data choosers, and in today's Power BI for Sport tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create unique player IDs. Unique player IDs is a really useful feature to have within your data set as it enables you to easily distinguish between each player and it allows you to have a data set that's a lot easier to work with. So I'm going to jump straight into the tutorial and show you how to do exactly that. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to have Power BI set up and you want to have your data already imported. You then want to jump straight into the Power Query editor. So to do that you want to go and click on Home and click on Transform Data. Once this has been loaded, you should see your data set appear on the screen. So the first thing what we, of what we want to do within the Power Query Editor is that we want to create a list of player names without any duplicate. So in order to do this, we're going to duplicate this data set now. So if we just right click and click on duplicate, you then want to click on the columns that contain unique data for each player, that being their name and their date of birth. So you want to hold down shift and click on date of birth. If you just right click here, you can click on remove other columns. This subsequently removes all the other columns and keeps just these two. Now that's been done, you then want to remove any duplicates in names just so a normal list appears. So to do that, we're going to right click again and click on remove duplicates. And as you can see, a player list has now been generated. Now we can actually create these unique player IDs. So to do that, you're going to go into add column you're going to go into this index column uh, button here and specifically click on the drop down menu. You're then going to click on custom. And here you're actually able to choose a starting index and the increment as well. So in this case, I'm going to click one as a starting index and the increment to be one. Obviously, you can choose whatever values you want them to be. But in this example, I'm just going to stick with these. I'm going to, I'm going to click on OK. And as you can see, a number has been generated to each player. I'm now going to rename this column as well. So uh, I'm just going to double click on this and name it player ID. I'm also going to rename this duplicated data set as well as it's always best practice to do this to player info. Now I want to put this player ID data into our original uh, data set itself. So in order to do this, I'm going to merge query. So I'm going to go back into database I'm going to go back into home and we're going to click on merge queries here. And I'm now going to click on the two columns in which contain uh, the unique information about each player. So that's player full name, hold down shift, player date of birth. Within this drop down menu here, I'm going to click on the duplicated data set. So I'm then going to do the same thing and click on the two uh, columns with unique information. As you can see, there's a perfect match. I'm going to click on OK. And as you can see here, an extra column has now been added. Uh, in order to sort of showcase these player IDs, what you want to do is that you just want to click on these two arrows here and you want to only select player ID and you just want to click on OK. And as you can see, a player ID has now been generated for each player. I really hope that you found today's tutorial useful. If you have, then definitely click the like and subscribe button too. Definitely check out our website too. Link to that will be in the, in the description down below. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.